Paris and Dolce. The one and only. The one and only. For stupid people like myself, do you think you put a background on yourself? I play measurements. Um, yeah, I am five foot one and 105 pounds, 32 double D, <laughs> uh, 24 inch waist, 35 hips. I was born in Sacramento, California, and I am 23 years old. Growing up, did you go to public school, private school? Um, in elementary to sixth grade, I was in a public school, and then from seventh to tenth grade, I was at a small private school with only 60 kids in the whole school. It was very small, but it was nice. I, I learned a lot, and then after that, I finished high school at a public high school, and that was fun, but I didn't, you know, be fucked off a little bit. I graduated, and, you know, I think I'm doing okay. Favorite subject? I, I really liked art class. I liked art class a lot. At the private school, I liked math. Actually, I was very good at algebra, actually, once like I understood it. But then at the public school, the, literally the teacher would teach, and then he'd be like, okay, you guys can talk now, and we would all scoot our desks together. Like, literally got nothing done. A joke. But it was fun. <laughs> for for uh, somebody who's 16, it was fun. <laughs> um, I started modeling when I was 12, uh, modeling and acting. I had an agent for like two years in San Francisco. I was like four, 14 was when I had that agent, so 14 to 16. So I, I always wanted to do something like in the talent field. Like I loved, I wanted to be like a Victoria's Secret model or something like that, but I'm too short, so didn't happen, and then I was watching The Girls Next Door on television when I was like 15, and they were doing the test shoots, and Holly Madison was saying, oh, well, you, we don't have a height requirement, and I thought, oh, that'd be cool, so then I like sent my pictures in to Playboy when I was 19, and that's kind of where all this stuff started. <laughs> My mom was with me the whole time. Yeah, she. I went to a couple conventions here in Los Angeles. Yeah, my, my mom was like my momager. But because I wanted to do it, she she was like, you really want to do this? You really want to do this stuff? Because it was like, you know, you have to impress other people and you have to jump when, yeah, jump, okay, how high? You know what I mean? And yeah, she, she didn't always like that. Because you finished grade school, you went to high school? Yeah. Were you the... The nerd, the loner, the geek, the... Um, I, I, okay, so I was new to the school, to the big high school where everybody kind of, you know, knew each other from a long time, and I was new, so, but I, I started dating a football player who was really popular, and so people knew who I was, and like, I'd go to a party, people would be like, hey, what's up? And then in class, they wouldn't say a word to me, so I... People knew who I was, but I was the loner. I remember having lunch in a bathroom a couple times. <laughs> and the two friends that I kept, like, like I remained friends with, I'm still kind of friends with to this day, they were new to the school at the same time as I was. So, yeah. You, you graduated high school? Yep. At that point, do you have any idea what you want to do with the rest of your life? Um, I, I wanted to give modeling a shot, but I, I didn't jump right to it right when I graduated. I went to a JC and then I tried going to Paul Mitchell to do aesthetics and that didn't really work out. I went for like a month and I just I hated it. I didn't like it. I, I love skincare. I love makeup because that's what it touched on, but I, I, I was miserable because it was weird, but I hated it. I didn't like, I didn't like it. It's time to you mentioned you submitted pictures to Playboy. I did. I did. I did. Um, I, I even I went on a, um, a Playmate test shoot when I was 19. And yeah, I just kind of, yeah, I, I did a couple test shoots and sent pictures, but nothing really came about from it. Um, I went on Playboy Radio once. That so was like the only thing that really came about. But how all this adult stuff started happening. I met Holly Randall through a mutual friend, 
and shortly after that, like, we talked about shooting, and then I was like, you know, I've been kind of interested in doing girl, girl, da da da, and she's like, oh, well, let me see what I could do, and I got, um, two twisty solos, and that's kind of how this started, and I've been doing it ever since. Prior to sending pictures to Playboy, had you taken racy photos of yourself before that? Had you watched adult material? No. I mean, I, I looked at play, I looked at, you know, the pretty stuff, like, like Playboy or like a penthouse or something like that, but nothing, no, I didn't really, I mean, I knew who like Jesse Jane was and Jenna Jameson, but I didn't, I, I didn't think about doing porn. Had you done any flashing or anything in public before that? No. <laughs> no. Never been that type of girl. I still probably wouldn't do that unless I was, like, if the situation was right, then maybe I would do it. But I'm still, I'm, I'm pretty reserved, I would say. I'm not the type of person that's going to fuck somebody in public unless you, it's, you know, there's different circumstances, if you know what I mean. You did your test shoot, you got in touch with Holly. How did you make the transition from there to actual movies? This is what happened. I made a model mayhem and then that kind of opened the doors to other things. I had like an ATK shoot and a Zishi shoot and little things like that. And then, then the Holly shoot and then just more started happening after that. Because I did, because I, I didn't have an agent or anything. So I like would hit up eight, um, the companies through Twitter and you know, built the relationship that way. So. Doing only go girl, girl, was that a business move or were you just into women? Um, business move? I had messed around with girls, but definitely more a business. I mean, at the end of the day, what do you want? You want pussy or money? Oh, I want money. <laughs> at least that's how I... Prior to getting into business, had you had any preconceived notions about the adult entertainment industry? Preconceived, what do you... Oh, uh, you must have heard stories about it. But it's, it's like a normal shoot. I've been I've been in independent films, so I know what it's like to sit around on set. I, I I had already kind of experienced that, and it honestly is fucking exactly the same. It's just instead of just acting and taking pictures, you're having sex. That's all it is. Adult entertainment. It's just entertainment for adult. That's all it is. There's really no different, except you got to get tested and have sex. You do your first movie, do you immediately start shooting a lot, or do you maybe take time off? No, 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 I, I shot, and then I kept shooting, and kept on shooting. <laughs> At what point do you decide this becomes a career for you, or is it a career now? Uh, it's a career now, but it was a career, like, in the beginning. Yeah, I wanted to keep on doing it. it it's, it's cool. It's, I mean, I mean what, I'd be a fool. You know, I, I could I could go to set and, and have sex with a girl for eight hundred dollars for a day, or I could work as a waitress and make eight hundred dollars in a week or two weeks. I mean, you know, I yeah, and I, and I'm a DJ too, and the, the word struggling musician that's very real information. It's hard. I mean, you know, you don't first start DJing and you're immediately Calvin Harris, you gotta go and play in clubs. Even in the nice clubs in Hollywood, you get paid a hundred bucks or two fifty. Like that doesn't that doesn't pay bills. I mean that helps, but it's and I'm just I'm just being real because anybody, even if they don't say it, they mean that. I mean the, the money's really good. And and it's it's cool and I I and I'm good at it. So yeah. Are you dominant or submissive with women? Um, I've played both. I've even dommed somebody before. Not not a woman. I've never dommed a woman. I've dommed a guy before. But like, like for a pain slut, like whipping the fuck out of this person and he has welts on his back and like shocked his balls and things like that. But, um, I mean, a, n nothing too crazy though when it comes to me. Um. I mean, I guess I've been sort of done, but light dom, light doming, but not nothing like crazy. How much different are you than the person people see on camera? How much of this is an act? This, this isn't an act. 
this isn't an act. And you, you know, it's funny, I did an interview for Penthouse and the, I, I had met the guy b once before and we finished our interview and then I was just talking to him. He saw me talking to somebody. He came up to me and he was like, the way you are on camera is exactly the way you really are. Because it's, it's too much work to make this. too much work let me just just it's so much easier to be real and to be cool and to be yourself when it